Hi third graders, I have got prepared dough, salt dough, that I have a recipe for you on my classroom art page. And it was also um, made by K1 and 2. K1 and 2 also made the salt dough. And you could do a lot with salt dough. It's a lot like clay, self-drying clay or clay. Um, I am taking a chunk of this. Now, I also made templates for you on my classroom page. You'll see as an attachment. These are templates that you can use or you can make your own flour. This paper is a little firm which works really well as like a tracer on top of the dough because we're going to make a slab flat clay garden. So um, the K1 and 2 classes are doing coils with the soft dough and we're making a slab. So a slab is just you pound it a little bit, you want to make it um, flat and then you roll it out you roll the dough, you need a rolling pin. So you'll need a rolling pin and you'll need your salt dough. And the recipe, like I said, has been posted. And you don't want to be too thin with the dough. You want to be able to flip it. Back. Oh, it's a really nice batch I made. Um, also, it's nice to have these tools, a, a knife for cutting and this for texture. You can, a fork for giving texture. Now, I'm going to make three flowers you can make more than that if you want depends and you should you could use my templates or freehand them and this is a white gessoed a white board I think it looks nice on white when it comes out of the oven we are going to bake this at 350 degrees so I'm putting this here and I'm cutting away the extra dough this is a tulip shape you just go around your could smush it around the um, leaves. That's one leaf. Take this extra out and put it with your, the rest of it. And I'm just cutting away. I'm using a plastic knife because it's safe. You could use any knife that you feel safe to use in your kitchen. And there is my stem. This came out really nicely peeling the salt dough away and you want to clean up the edges. Now I want to bring that swirl of the rose in to the clay, the dough. Oh, it's sticking to it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Don't stick. Don't. Okay. You might have to pinch it back together. You want, you know, it's going to dry just the way you leave it, but that's my tulip. And here is the rose lines. It's a spiral. You could even use a pencil. I'm gonna try that. Or is it a marker, a pencil? Let's try the pencil. You could do dots to get the spiral or groove into it with lines, whatever works. This will bake, but you wanna show that texture, that it's a rose. Okay. And you could texture, you want kind of a smooth edge and you can do maybe the fork can just lightly, not too deep because it will cut, just like to give the dots around the edge as a nice effect. Prong it. You don't have to do this, but you can do this. You could even give like a crisscross. Let's try that. I get carried away. Oh, that's kind of nice. On the body of the rose. Let's give it a little crisscross. Okay, so there's my rose, and you have to very gently put it onto the baking sheet. It doesn't go on the white board yet. It has to first bake. So I'm laying it down. It's very soft, and everybody's salt dough comes out a little differently. That's one. I will, maybe I'll just make two for you right now. This is one with one leaf. Um, I'll do the tulip. It's pretty, it's pretty um, easy, but I, I, you should have more than two. 
should have three flowers. I'm not going to make the third one on the video, but I'll have it, I'll have a still shot of the three of them. I got a daisy too. Okay, just roll it out, not too thin. One direction, other direction. You have to be able to lift up your slab and put it back down. Here is my tulip. I like the one leaf. I think that's kind of nice. Cutting it away. Cut the extra salt dough away. Top of the tulip. And I will make the third one off camera. But I think to have a garden, you need more than two. You can even make four if you get really into it. Okay, there's my one leaf tulip. Gently peel back your tracer or your template, your stencil. And unlike paper, we're putting it on top of the dough. It sticks to it a little bit. All right, I'm, I might give this a little texture. Clean it up a little bit with your fingertips. And I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I like the, I like the crisscross a lot. And the prongs. Accent the form, accent. Show the form of it. There we go. And this will go on the baking sheet. And it will get, and then when it comes out, there'll be a step two to this and it will be painting them. Okay, and like I said, I will do the um, daisy. I even have another flower. I will do one of these as, a, as my third one.